Hey gorgeous Gemini, welcome to your reading. Suddenly I feel quiet, like y'all can't hear me, like I need to get closer and I need to raise my voice. I don't feel strong. And the message from Spirit is, Gemini, you are strong. As soon as you admit that you are strong, and it feels like there's quite a sternness to this message. And I know I really didn't expect to start it off on this stern note because there's, I promise there's lots of really beautiful things to share. But it's like Spirit's getting stern with Gemini. <laughs> like, and the message is, you are strong. And as you realize that you are strong, you realize that your voice does resonate, that it can be heard and that it matters. So now that we got the, the tough stuff, the tough love out of the way, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Gorgeous Gemini. I love you Gemini so much. So many people are thinking about you at this time. I have a lot of messages to share before the tarot. It's like you are everywhere. You're entering a lot of people's consciousnesses. <laughs> We've got Venus going retrograde as well. A lot of energy from the past. You're making a lot of people ponder, literally look up, take a moment and remember Gemini. You, you bring spark. You bring that electricity to people's, you know, hearts and memories. And they enjoy those moments. They're so grateful for those moments. Spirit's saying, receive the love, Gemini. Receive the love. Allow yourself to say yes to the love. There's nothing that makes you... It's like you see the best in everyone else. And everyone sees the best in you. But Spirit wants you to see the best in you. So that you can go, yes, you are worthy of that love. There's a lot of abundance in coming for you, Gemini. Mm-hmm. A lot of abundance and there's a lot of fun like a lot of banter you know and it's sort of like you've been through so much that like a little battle a little banter it, it, it it's not gonna you know it's not gonna <laughs> put you off balance because it's like you've been through so much that it's sort of like it's more fun now it, it, it's more about discussing ideas and seeing what's possible and you know, in a way, it's like for the same vision, for the higher good. People are really grateful for the times they've come into contact with you, Gemini. You know, and you spark, it's sort of like you, it's like people are just going about their day and it's like you'll spark this inspiration, like they'll see like a sky and it will be lit up by something else because they've had a conversation with you like 10 years ago or something. It's like that sort of thing, like you're really present. It's like you're everywhere, like Gemini is everywhere. You're in every now moment. Let's light some sage. Um, there's blessings in coming. I'm also seeing King of uh, Cups and Queen of Cups in the 1111 card. There's a lot of love. Where's the lighter? You're being told, you're being told to keep the faith. Okay, so when you go through any periods of transition of energies, keep the faith. Somebody has realized you're a missed opportunity and you're like, yeah, 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 I am. You know that. And what you thought was the end of a book is just the end of a chapter. You didn't realize there's a whole new book, but there literally is and it just gets better. And then you're like, oh, someone sees the most beautiful sunset they've ever seen. You didn't even realize sunsets could be that beautiful. It's like a purple sky. I'm seeing the Empress and the Magician, Gemini. There's a lot to say. The Empress and the ma Magician, you keep creating. Life wants to keep giving to you. You keep nurturing, like, the magic of life. And it keeps surprising you. It's like you thought you knew everything. And you keep getting surprised. You're like, what? what? More? Like, this is even possible? More? Life's like, yeah. More. More for Gemini. You're being asked to rest. Like the Empress card, you know, it's sort of that time of nurturing new ideas. Nurturing new creations. The cocoon. You know, sleep. 
because there is celebration and abundance coming in. So enjoy those times of sleep and rest. They're very important. They really are. You're planning something. I'm looking down. There's like there's plans or there's ideas. It's like it's like the magician even looking into you know uh, the book or the, the whatever the magician does. You know, creating something. And you do see the wider picture because you're looking down at something. Gosh, this smells so good. Mm, Gemini. It's just so beautiful how much. It's like people are so grateful for the time that they have with you, Gemini. Like, even if it's just like in passing, it's like you light up their day. It's like, it's like. You're that person, it's like you're the person everyone remembers. Like, I don't know, even if you go into like a shop for like, I don't know. It's like you create a change in people. You really do. I'm like, you really do. All right, sweethearts, let's draw some tarot. And then we're going to get into the passion deck. We'll draw some love messages. My voice keeps cracking. Um, what is that? Is somebody, we'll find out. Somebody's coming in with an offer. Coming out of the mind or the mental prison and making something like a solid offer here. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. It's either you or the universe stepping forward. Coming out of like, you know, it's like any thoughts of self-doubt, they're not holding you back anymore. And um, you've overcome toxic situations. Somebody's going to be walking into your life. King of Swords. It, it, this is quick energy. This is your energy, Gemini. You're showing up as victorious. You're showing up as somebody that has really great communication, is very powerful when you speak, very memorable, you know, and very uh, clear, concise. And don't judge yourself, you know, and you're not, you're not judging yourself anymore because you recognize your power and other people do. You've gone through immense energy cleansing. It's pretty bringing in all your desires and you got the five of wands in reverse so it's like this is this like battle energy it's like you're not entering into it it's like you almost see that as light-hearted because the joy is so immense and intense that it, you can't really you're like oh yeah like that's going on like yeah 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 but you're like focused on this you're focused on the rainbow and the higher possibility it's like oh yeah this this has been going on forever and a day and eons but we're, we're, we're going where we're going Ten of Cups, Rainbow, <laughs> Wish Fulfillment, Higher Possibilities, Higher Timelines. I, I, I'm like, it's like literally that, trying to get the words together, um, no need for words, right? It's just, it feels good. Feels amazing, blissful. Dreaming in what is your wish fulfillment. And knowing that spirit wants to gift you with these blessings. Coming out of heartache really swiftly here <laughs> with the Ace of Swords. It's like I really get this sense that you're really glowing. You have this aura about you. And around the ten of cups we saw like the possible heartache or these possible you know battles going on and you're like no this way it's like you're sharing your vision of the way you hold that sword of truth and clarity it's like you're saying this is the offer this is what we do this is the plan you know king of swords holding out ace of swords and the universe also gifting you with this new opportunity one that's very much in alignment there there's really this interesting energy it's very much like devil in reverse card but what i'm seeing is like all the sort of battle cards you know or like the negative memories or the like wanting to hold on to toxic situations it's like it's around it's present it's there when isn't it there especially when there's such high stakes like the ten of cups 
The gorgeous thing is you choose path and peace and you create that connection even between people that may not see eye to eye it's like you bring harmony and it makes sense because that's what you do because you see two sides of the coin gemini that's the beauty of you it's like you're able to to bring balance you really have a deep understanding and that's why you can bring this harmony that's why you can find that common middle ground and really help projects succeed um, some of you are really you know like relationship counselors or you're doing this for your own relationship it's like you're able to find truth in any situation one more card and then let's get into about love five of pentacles you might be feeling a little abandoned or like you need to walk away from a certain situation but it's like at the heart of the matter you know that the ten of cups is the ultimate truth you know that spirit is there gifting it you gifting it to you page of cups i keep seeing 11 11 for you and we're coming up to 11 11 so make a wish Ooh. let's find out about love there's a real sleepiness like i'm like let's just snooze Forming a strategy. There is an energy around for some of you. And I don't mean to put this out there in a way like, oh, you know, but there, there, isn't, there is so much going on in the world, right? Where it's easy to get knocked off our path. But that's like a constant daily thing for all of us at all the time. But it's like you have such clarity now. It's like now you're super aware of it because with the seven of swords, you're like, you know, seven of swords is like, it's um, sort of deceptive energy, but you keep showing up as this like, no, 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 like I got, I got my swords of truth and clarity here. This, this sight, you know, and it feels like you keep winning battle after battle or like you're not letting anything take you off the mark. You're not falling into toxic habits. You're not being down on yourself. It's just like, you're just like, hey, I know what's possible. And I got a lot of love and I know that that's the answer. There's the King of Cups that I was saying. You know, this cup overflowing with love, protective of the dream, protective of, you know, all that he loves. Well, <laughs> and the brand new beginning with the ace of chalices there's the 11 11 card yeah if you keep going and recognizing how strong you are you're going to be beyond successful like beyond your wildest dreams and I think that that's why we came in so stern with that message from Spirit because Spirit invested Spirit's heart into you, Gemini. And literally here, it's like Gemini is like, like Spirit really, no one else can do what you can do, Gemini. And it's not about putting weight on your shoulders. It never was about that. It was only ever about you recognizing that you are strong and just saying it, just admitting it, and just being it. It was only ever about you living your dream and saying, yes, you deserve that. You deserve love. You deserve to feel the love. As soon as you do that, spirit has done spirit's job. Spirit has succeeded. It's like you're here as the warrior for spirit, but spirit's like trying to be the warrior for you, saying all you need to do is enjoy say yes to love say yes to happiness say yes to recognizing that you are strong gee spirit's almost grumpy when spirit says that and i don't know i don't ever remember feeling that way with a message from spirit although i have remembered being stern with you guys before which i don't think i am with any of the other cards look at the sternness here <laughs> you know um knight of swords 
it's like there's a spirit being like, listen here, Gemini. You are strong. The Knight of Swords is the Sword of Clarity. It's like, this is swift, quick action. This is you just stepping into the strength that you are. So whatever that is for you, it's either you're going to be speaking your truth or you're going to be applying for that job. Or you're going to be sharing how you feel. It's like you're stepping into something where it's like, there, it's just swift, quick action decision. It's done. And then spirit gifts you with this abundance. It's like that was your job was always to just recognize how strong you are. We got the Queen of Swords, a card of power and victory, and the Knight of Pentacles, saying yes to the magic of life. Accept the magic. You keep questioning whether you're good enough for a relationship or a work possibility or opportunity, and that is what spirit just to be really blunt with you guys that is what spirits like that's that's not gonna fly anymore gemini okay like of all the signs you are some of the most strong people i know that there are like taurus is known for being strong because they, they they push through and it's like they're real earth warriors they they're strong right and Aries is strong, you know, as a fire sign because they, but there's a bit of a naivety as to why they're strong. But the reason, and then of the water signs, I feel like, you know, Scorpio is really strong because they go through that turmoil of emotions. But of the air signs, you know, Gemini, like, and of all the signs, really, you're strong. And that's how other people see you, is as strong. And you're strong because it comes with wisdom. You're not strong because of naivety and you don't see that. It's like, no, you literally see and have this, this wisdom, this ability to know both sides, to understand, take it on the chin, but to be everywhere, to make change. And that sort of strength that is the real strength, you know. Admitting that you're strong is going to bring you so much more than you realize. So many more dreams, so much more success, so much more abundance. So many more possibilities, opportunities. Dreams coming true, Seven of Chalices. Four of Swords is the rest card with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're being asked to rest, maybe allow, maybe allow a selfish part of self to come out where it's like you don't need to be so generous right now other than being generous to yourself. You know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can sometimes be seen as a little bit, you know, superficial. But you're being asked to take action. Okay. Unashamedly. It's what brings in the magic, the harmony, the balance, the rebalancing of energies of love. I really do get this strong sense of rest to connect to your inner power. Um, let's draw some love messages. It's funny checking in with the energies. Um, you know, obviously it'd be nice just to do all the like high vibes readings all the time, but you know, when spirit wants to get stern, you can't deny it like this is alchemy this is transformation and we just got to go with it we just got to face what is and find out how best to transform too this depth of feeling is new to me knowing that you're not alone my heart longs for you yeah i feel like you're the missed opportunity did i say that at the start i can't remember if i shared that with you guys but there was this strong sense where i was like so many people thinking about you and they're just like 
Gemini, I really missed out. Like, because I'm literally seeing people, it's like they shake their head when they think about you, like, Gemini, yep, <laughs> it's like that. They, real, they really do, they realize, like, you know, they missed an opportunity. Our connection is cosmic, can't explain it. And again, it's that sense of, like, Gemini is everywhere. I fantasize about you loving me again. Honestly, this is the romantic energy. Like, when I first turn into your energy, it's like, everyone's thinking about Gemini on a romantic <laughs> note. Like, it's like, everyone's thinking back to their, their, their meeting with Gemini. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, this is literally what I'm seeing. I'm like... It's like the Brady Bunch squares, guys. I'm like literally seeing like all these like insights of people just like remembering like Gemini. Blum and Gemini, you know, they're just like fantasizing about you, longing for you. Uh, they're like, should I? No, and they're just like, what has gotten into me? Blum and Gemini, you know? And they've cried oceans of tears for you. Because you're unforgettable. It's just how it is. I don't understand what you see in me. I know you are waiting for me to step up. And last but not least, I hate how I treated you. Someone wants to make it up to you, I heard as I drew that card. They want to make it up to you. Okay, sweethearts, let's see. Let's draw your Crystal Visions card for gorgeous Gemini. Take a chance. And again, with the yellow, that's the solar plexus, standing into your strength. I feel like strength is really the key, okay? So whatever that means for you, maybe it's like literally like weights training. Because even building like the physical body, and I, I, don't, I don't mean you need to go lift. I mean like get a can of baked beans or something and do this. Literally, that does do a lot. You know, actually what does strength is if you just do this. This is really good for the lymph nodes as well. But by moving the physical vessel also creates this strength in the energetic. But also mantras. Also reckon, write down all the things that you've, you know, been through, accomplished in life. Just, or just do none of that and just accept that you're blooming strong because that'll make things a whole lot easier. And that's where spirit's at with you right now, Gemini. <laughs> I'm like, I know this energy is wild. New you. Where it is, the yellow, stepping into your strength. You feel it. You're ready to be this new you. It's no one's going to recognize that you've changed because they've always seen this in you. The only person that's going to feel like you've changed is you. <laughs> okay. And you're just going to notice there's like a new flow that things just seem a little easier because you're allowing yourself to receive. Last card, voice activation. Remember, we're saying it's like, finally, it's just this strength. It's just this swift movement. It's just, you can just talk. This is also happening on a, you know, collective level, but you're stepping into your power, Gemini. You're going to be sharing your truth. Voice activation. It's not something you even, it's just, it's just a change. It's just like a done deal. Okay, darlings. Um, one more card. Let's get you a message from Love Oracle. And I want to draw you an angel. For Gemini. An angel card and then Love Oracle. I hope you darlings are doing well. I know that it's like holiday season, like New Year and all of that. So, hey, what better time to just go, yeah, New You, right? Gorgeous. And you've just been through the eclipse season for the last year and a half. And it's really, um, you know, being beautiful for Gemini. It really has. Love it. Sonia, I bring you a message. Oi, this one. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Beautiful. Let's draw one more angel for you, darlings. Ooh. 
playing. And Xena, oh, I love this card. It reminds me of my cat Xena, who is in heaven as well. Hmm. It says, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. And that's sort of that feeling where it's like things just start to flow for you, Gemini. You know, like the universe just seems like it's gifting you. Like things just happen so much more easily because you're connected to this heart space, you see? It's like the power of your love is your protection. The worst is behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. There is a, there is like this abundance and maybe it's really like the end of year, you know, energy as well, but really see like these blessings and this abundance and this, if there's like gold energy for Gemini, abundance, strength, blessings, but there is this sort of like cocoon, snooze, relax into it sort of vibe to receive, you know? Okay, love Oracle, my darlings. And then you can uh, go and enjoy your beautiful now moment. Someone wants to write you poetry, I just heard. We got two cards. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So important to let go of resentment for self and others. We are all on the healing journey and it anytime we can all choose love or we can choose fear okay and you know you've been through that solar eclipse journey and that's what i mean with that banter that battle you're like i'm gonna choose love i'm gonna choose the ten of cups eh? like i'm just gonna do that so you see emotions for what they are there's something that absolutely you can experience and feel into but you can also observe them and you can also you know see things clearly let go of resentment to make space for the blessings and when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you have shared with those you love. And that's what you're creating. And that's gorgeous because those are all the memories that people are thinking of you. And they're all good. Like, make no mistake, Gemini. They're all good and beautiful and loving. So please let go of any resentment or fear or, you know, just invite that space for the new abundance, the new you, the new strength that's coming in. Because the only thing that remains is love, the memories of love, and that's the truth. I love you, Gemini. Blessings, love, and light. Always, let's do a little sound bowl here. Where's the thing? as you are Gemini is what that's what they're saying and that's the truth <laughs> that's the truth you are perfect you always have been perfect 11 11 I love you ciao for now darlings what does that say one so yeah cleansing cleansing making space there's going to be this voice activation coming through and i keep seeing the 1111 on here because it's 2929 29. so you'll see a lot of that as well those are the pillars of light the synchronicity you are absolutely on the right path i hope this message helped in some way check those buttons and do all that stuff and give yourself a big hug gemini from me to you big hug ciao
<laughs> See you, darlings.